Welcome to this short video on how to look at PCAP files using your SolarWinds Orion system. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netforge Technologies. So the first thing I need to do is create a packet capture file. Now there are many ways to do this, so I'm just going to go to start Wireshark. So I've installed Wireshark here on my laptop. There are other tools like Microsoft Network Monitor, which is, which is also a free tool like Wireshark. And you can get packet capture files from firewalls and other network devices are able to generate them as well. My tool of choice is Wireshark, so I go to Capture in here then, go to Interfaces, and I'm going to monitor the Ethernet interface here on my laptop. So you just click on Start, and Wireshark starts to capture all packets going in and out of my Ethernet port. So I'm now going to, go to, go, going to do some normal network stuff. So firstly, I'm going to go to um, my C drive here, I'm going to go to Medical Records, it's going to copy this folder. I'm going to put it up onto the network, it's already there, actually deleted off the network first and paste up that folder. So I've copied up a bunch of files there onto the network. I'm going to go to my browser, do some normal things. Let's go to Facebook, let's see an interesting going on here. So I've got a Pixies movie here, so yeah, there be, that'll be interesting, one of my favourites. We just click on the, the play button here, let's see what's happening. Let's turn down the volume here for the time being. So we start streaming this video here, looks like from the Letterman Show. So that's streaming way in the background, generating data and traffic on the network. I'm going to go here to another tab. Let's do a search for something here. Um, let's do a search for Netforge again, actually. Comes to the website here. Let's take a look at what's happening. Let's go to the download page here where I can download an ISO or VMware version of Langardian. Let's go to BBC News website, see what's happening. So we get all the latest news here. So lots of um, lots of activity here, moving files around, browsing websites, streaming video. So I'm going to go back to my Wireshark application, and I'm going to go capture stop. So that activity that I just did, moving files around and access to web pages, has generated over eight thousand, almost nine nine thousand packets of data. So what I'm going to do now is going to save off this capture file, and I'm just going to call it. It's going to call it video capture file, and that's saved off. I then go to my SolarWinds Orion system here, and now I've got a dashboard here which allows me to upload the packet capture file. So we just browse for that, so that's the capture file here, we open it, and we upload the file. So this file is then uploaded here. Now in the background, I've, I'm running the Network DPI engine, and a couple of things are going to happen. It, it will perform deep packet inspection on this capture file, and it will extract out certain information. So let's hit the process button. And what's happening now is all packets within that capture file are replayed. An intrusion detection engine and a traffic analysis engine takes a look at it and extracts out certain information like you know, client IP addresses, like websites, like file names, like stuff. If my laptop had any issues with viruses, it would detect that type of activity as well. So it tells me here my file has been processed. And I then go to the packet capture file analysis dashboard. And let's take a look at what was happening on the network while I was capturing that. Well, the activity of browsing some websites and streaming video here actually generated five megabytes of web traffic. I can drill down on that here and see what's happening. So mostly on my laptop. So let's drill down on that again. And we can see my laptop here making connections to Facebook and BBC. This IP address here is probably associated with YouTube. So I only watched that video for about 30 seconds and yet it generated four megabytes of data. From a security analysis point of view, my laptop looks to be in good shape. I'm not triggering any viruses or anything like that. Now it is telling me here I'm accessing some Windows file shares. And over towards the right here, we can actually see further information. Here's my laptop connecting to a system on the network. It's file share and it's, it's copying up some medical records here, some x-rays. Further down, we can see the websites I access. So I access the BBC, I access a whole bunch of other sites. And that can happen when you click on a website. Other kind of ads and other things can can be accessed as well. But this can be very useful if you've got sort of malware or you're suspicious about your system if it may be phoning home to some website that you're not you're not aware of. You can check out this here. You can see what connections this in this case my laptop was making. And there's further analysis of that down here. There's quite detailed looking at the Facebook, what, what I was clicking on within Facebook. So this is a nice high level view of what was captured within that packet capture file. When I'm finished, I go to the file load page and I just delete the packet capture file and I'm ready to process another one from another part of the network. 
And just a tip as well, you, can, you don't have to just capture data on your laptop. You could also plug your laptop into a switch and set up a span port. And you could use Wireshark to capture that span traffic and then use something like this here to take a look at what is happening on your network. Okay, well that's a quick, just a quick overview of what you can do with packet capture files. Using the Orion um, application and the Net4 DPI engine in the background.